Usotolo puesta yuko sa seko uli ukabelo kwa manda upechelele ngo kusesikuwe ni project yoko fusele la kwa lato ilili ngoyi kumbidwe tolo upi na mtanje kseni. Oku glande la ukapu kutubulo unyago peleo olo nagalise esi stalato luwa suba ubumibu mtu omye kwa yelo nzagalisa abantu abalikela. Uku amanda uti kuza kutata minyaka mibini ukuba kukaitwe ulungi swa esi stalato. There's an investigative process by um, expert um, engineers that would then identify the type of infrastructure that we have beneath the surface and within our service tunnels so that they can be able to pinpoint and highlight what is of critical importance for us to note and for us to put measures in place uh, to ensure that similar occurrences does not happen in the future. MMC for Transport in the city of Johannesburg, Councillor Kenny Kunene, who was also part of the launch, says considering the difficulties encountered in restoring Lillian Ngoi Street, progress has been made. However, Kunene says it was difficult to progress easily due to lack of funds and support from the national government. In terms of the work that has been done, we are fast. Given the challenges that we are faced with, had the, the city, city got in an infrastructure grant, we, we would, would be, be able, able to move at an even faster, faster pace. pace. But the, the provincial, provincial government and national government don't care. care. It is clear that they don't care, care about, about the residents of Johannesburg. Mayor Kabelo Kwamanda says it will take two years to complete the project as they are also working on the upgrade of the High Court precinct as part of the project. He adds that as the city of Johannesburg, they promise a better precinct after they're done reconstructing the road as a sign of what they want to do in the inner city. Masachaba Kobola for Soweto TV News, Johannesburg.